Hey, Larry Mednick. Uh, so we've got a brand new RevX, and uh, we get the question often enough um, how to calibrate the uh, fuel level. And so uh, if you ever do have to replace your EFIS, one of the things that you will be having to do is recalibrate your fuel tank. And so this is how we do it. This is going to be a brand new EFIS. It's never been in this trike before, and uh, this is what we need to do. So come over here, take a look. First thing I'm going to do is throw the master on. That's going to uh, bring up our extreme MGL display. And uh, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to push down on the uh, knob here and I'm going to go counterclockwise to menu. It's the fastest way to get to the menu. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to go over to our engine management system or EMS setup. Do the EMS setup. You see that nice little icon for the fuel tank and come over here. Now we can skip over fuel flow. That is actually fuel flow. Fuel flow two, that's for your second engine that we clearly don't have. Same thing with the tank one and tank two. We just have one tank. So if we go into fuel flow, you'll see it's off. You uh, can turn that on and then all of a sudden we've got all kinds of things to set. So we're gonna leave that off. We're gonna come down to tank one. We're gonna turn that, that's already on. We're gonna go to tank size. So our tank size is 9.9. .9. The easiest way to do this is um, this is a 0.1. Now I'm gonna hit the hot key, and now I can go up from there in whole numbers. So now that's a 9.9 .9 gallon tank. I'm going to go ahead and move the alarm to uh, 1.5 gallons. So I'll come here again, and I'm going to change that to 1.5. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put the low caution at 2.5, two, three, four, five. And then what we're going to do when we have um, at the uh, fuel pump, we're going to go ahead and calibrate tanks. So I'm going to just click this to show you. And you'll see that right now our fuel tank level sender is currently at 2139. That tank is empty. So with the tank empty, that's the resistance on that sender that it's sending. And what I would do is I could literally go in here, click on zero gallons, and then all I have to do is push this button and I'll show you that in just a second. But we're gonna back out of this since I can't calibrate all 9.9 .9 gallons because I don't have the fuel here. So we're gonna get this thing over to our fuel pumps. But before we do that, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and fill up the um, gas tank with just a little bit. That's gonna be our reserve. And so my dad, Phil, has the uh, mixed gas and we're putting mixed gas in here just to start it up on mix in case anything with the oil injection system is not 100%. We want that first start up to be a little extra rich with oil anyway, and that's fine. It'll run on this, it'll run fine on this. With the oil injection. And in about two minutes when we're over at the gas pump, we're gonna fill it up with gasoline. That'll dilute it all down anyway. So I put in about a half a gallon. Okay, and so basically, I'm gonna start with that half a gallon in there, and that's gonna be our reserve and then we'll go from there. All right, so we've come over here to the fuel truck. We're gonna go ahead and fill this up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my gas cap. A great spot for the gas cap is right on the pilot seat, not a passenger seat if you have a two place. And uh, now we're gonna need to go back into the menu. So we're gonna turn on our master. And as the EFIS comes up, as soon as it comes up, we're gonna go into our menu our menu we're gonna go into our EMS setup we're gonna go back over to our fuel and now our fuel tank one setup and you'll see all of the information we just put in is still there we're gonna go in to calibrate the tank calibrating the tank we know empty is at uh, 2140 I do have a little bit of fuel in here that's my reserve we're gonna go ahead and put two gallons in now so as I put in two gallons That's two gallons. You'll see that we've dropped down to 1519. All I'm gonna do okay. is press this button here and it's gonna throw that fuel level sender uh, resistance up to the two gallons. Now I'm gonna click over to four gallons. I'm gonna put in four. And now we have four. You notice that number's dropped, click it again it puts that up there. And you see the pattern now, we're going from big to small, even though our fuel is going from small to big. All right, now we're going 5.9 gallons. And the pattern continues. Top off the 
tank. That's it, we are topped off. Now I'm gonna hit exit, and you will see that it's gonna show that we have a full tank of gas. And there it is, it's calibrating out. And how do you tell when it's full on this side? Our sight gauge, we're watching our sight gauge, and I have overfilled it, as you can see the uh, wet fuel, but don't worry, av gas evaporates really, really quick. But I wanted to make sure and I got- And where does it normally go? Uh, you level with this, so about to here. So you want to stop when it's about here. Okay. These uh, pumps, they, they're hard to shut off, so you get a little extra sometimes. And if you look, I use 9.2 gallons, which means that we have a 0.7 gallon reserve in this tank. So obviously I put some fuel in it to get it over here. And you know what? If you've always got an extra 0.7, even when it says you're out of gas, better than being the other way around. Thanks for watching.